Welcome to another Tips and Tricks. How do you control your temperature at your house? Do you adjust your thermostat as you need it to make yourself comfortable? In Direct Digital Control, DDC, we accomplish the same function by creating a controller object. The controller object allows you to adjust the set point like you would on your house thermostat. To begin, we'll create a controller object by selecting a system to go to. In this case, we're going to choose the MAU1 controller. We'll go to the Manage pull-down and scroll to Create. We'll name this MAU1 controller. Next, we'll select CO as a type of object. And in this case, since there are two of them, the object instance is automatically numbered 3. Now we'll hit the Create button. You'll notice that it pulls up the controller object, and it's ready for us to input data. It's going to ask us for an input, and the input can be the temperature, or pressure, or whatever it might be that you're trying to maintain. We're going to use room temperature, which is going to be an analog input. We're going to select MAU1 room temp. Now, we're going to have a set point as an analog variable, and we're going to give it a heating set point. For the output, since it's heating, we will select a hot water valve. Next, we'll select the objects that we need to make the controller functional. In addition to the objects that we created to add to the controller object, we also have to determine the tuning properties. In other words, how reactive do we want our thermostat to be? We'll select the controller type. P stands for proportional. So proportional control is one of the options we have. Integral control is the second option. PI would be proportional integral control. And PID control would be proportional integral derivative control. You'll notice that it has a default proportional band of 0.1. That won't work because it's too small a value. So we're going to start off with 10 degrees instead. In this case, it's going to be degrees because we're looking at temperature. We'll leave it at P and save. You'll see that we have 10 degrees in here for proportional band. We have a zero dead band, and we're going to set for direct action, which means that as temperature goes up in the space, our output signal would go up in proportion to the temperature to close the heating valve. Once we set up the proportional control and like what we have, we can now select integral to make it a proportional integral control. This will give us the ability to take out any small deviations in the temperature control. So the integral rate is listed as zero, and that's percent per minute change. We'll change it to one for now. One percent per minute would be the rate of change. That's a good start. And the integral only affects the bias, in which case the bias does not affect the actual output. However, it's a much slower process than having a direct proportional control. Since we've selected integral, you could have a reset band. Maybe we want it to be four degrees. And then we could also have a dead band. Maybe we want that to be four degrees. We'll save this data. You'll notice in our graph, we have a dead band defined as four degrees around set point. Our set point is 70 degrees. Our dead band is four degrees, which makes it two degrees above set point and two degrees below set point. What dead band does is once the temperature gets inside the dead band, then the output stops right where it's at and does not move again until you go outside the dead band, either above or below set point. The same thing applies to integral rate. With the reset band of four degrees, when you're inside the four degree window around set point, then the integral rate will actually go down automatically until it gets back to zero at the same rate it went up at 1% per minute. 
That gives us the control we're looking for to maintain a space temperature of the room. You'll also notice when you create this object, you have a real-time control loop performance clock. It is also known as a performance chart. It identifies the output, the temperature, and how well it's maintaining both. You can also see all the changes that we've made in the history portion of this window. Thanks for watching another tips and tricks. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released. If you'd like more content like this, let us know in the comments below.